Hi everyone, welcome back to another topic and discussion video today. In today's video I'm talking about some bad habits that I think artists have and how to avoid them and whilst I'm talking about that I'm painting a raccoon in watercolours. So the first bad habit I think artists have is the idea that their work has to be perfect. So there's this constant desire to strive for perfection. And I feel that there are a lot of reasons why artists want their work to be perfect. So first of all, as an artist, I like to feel that I've really put my all into my work. So I've really taken my time on a piece. I've done the best that I can do. And then through my hard work in trying to perfect that piece, I've got the end result that I am wanting, which is obviously having a piece that I feel proud of. It can also be quite overwhelming and nerve-wracking putting your work out there, so showing off your work to an audience, so that could be an online audience, a customer or in an exhibition, there's constantly this awareness of feeling judged. So in some ways by trying to perfect your work it acts almost like a defensive mechanism against any kind of judgement or constructive criticism because if your work is perfect and flawless then how can it be criticised? So the idea of perfection can also act as like a hard outer shell to a soft centre. So personally I do feel that striving for perfection is a bad habit that artists have and I think artists should avoid trying to be perfect and instead I feel that they should strive to achieve their best. So I personally feel that there is no such thing as perfect. What perfect may mean to one person might not mean the same to someone else and with art it is so diverse that it would be impossible to create artwork that everyone thought was perfect anyway. So I feel that by striving to do my best instead of striving for perfection actually helps me to become a better artist anyway because I can get more out of my work. It becomes more about the journey, so learning new techniques, improving my skills, working out what works and what doesn't and so on so that I can then get a lot from my work. So I would definitely say that artists shouldn't worry about trying to be perfect and they should just do their best. The next bad habit I think artists have is comparing themselves to other artists and I think this is something that a lot of artists have experienced at some point in their lives. It can be so easy to look at someone else and think oh I just want to be just like them or they're doing so much better than I am and through my own experience I know how comparing yourself to other people can actually be really damaging. So firstly if you start comparing yourself to other artists then you aren't really focusing on yourself and doing your best. It can cause a Lot of emotional distress and it's even caused issues between artists before because of the tension and resentment those comparisons can cause. So by comparing yourself to other artists you are effectively competing with them so it can become a really big competition as to who is best and this is definitely something that artists should avoid doing. It's okay to feel inspired by someone and to look up to them but when it becomes more than that I don't think that is good for artists. So to avoid comparing yourself to other artists you really should just try and focus on yourself more. So focus on what you can do to better yourself. So for example if you are an artist that really wants to improve your work think about how you can improve so practice drawing more set yourself little goals try something different which are all healthy ways to actually help yourself and the third bad habit I think artists have really revolves around success and the fact that a lot of artists wait for success to happen. So I'm actually linking this point in with the quote, good things come to those who wait, because I feel that the idea of waiting for things to happen is not necessarily a good view for artists to have. So with artists, it is very important to try and put yourself out there, especially if you are someone that wants a career from art, because if you just sit there and don't really try and expand your network and use different platforms to showcase your artwork then how can you expect it to be found? I feel that you have to be very productive with art. It's not just about creating something, putting a picture up on your website and then expecting it to be seen. You really have to try and engage your audience. So firstly, I would try and showcase that work wherever I possibly could. So with social media, I would showcase work wherever I could. For example, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and so on. Because the more platforms you use, the better your opportunity is to be seen. It's also not just about the visual with art. So for example, a picture of your artwork, what about the caption to go with it? So what can you say about your work that will make people connect with it and more likely to connect with you? You really have to think about the ways that you can get your work out there. 
So the next bad habit I think artists have is procrastinating or postponing their work. A lot of artists can fall into the trap of putting off work for a day or two, which then can lead into long periods of time, losing interest in creating artwork and losing motivation to produce artworks as well. So procrastination can lead into quite major problems for artists. So I've experienced this a lot myself as an artist and it took me a very long time to be able to get back into the swing of things. So creating artwork and continuing to create artwork. A lot of artists are students or maybe have a supporting job as well. So it can be really easy to get out of producing artwork and then it becomes this cycle where it's a regular thing where things just aren't getting done. And if you are someone that has a particular interest in art or wants a career in art, the worst thing that you want to do is postpone work or avoid doing work altogether. So ways that can help you produce more artwork are by practicing small pieces. So for example, really small, less time consuming pieces, working on a few projects or even maybe one project at a time, joining an art club where you can produce artwork there and so on. I just think if you start off by doing something, then that can help you to start producing art again. So finally, last but not least, the fifth and final bad habit I think artists have and should avoid is not to feel shy about their work. So a lot of artists and aspiring artists are actually too afraid to show their work and a lot of it comes down to the fear of being judged or criticised, maybe also even a fear of being approached by others who might be interested in your work and just this general worry of the response that your work is going to draw in. So I think it is really important to not let the fear of something put you off of doing it altogether sometimes the thought of something can be a lot worse than what the reality is so even if you did showcase a piece of work and it drew negative attention try not to let that get you down try and see the positives and take it as constructive criticism try and get something from it the most important thing is that you are putting yourself out there and not holding yourself back so for me I no longer worry about showcasing my work because I want to produce art and stay true to myself but anyway guys those were my five bad habits habits that artists have and how to avoid them and I really hope that this video has helped you but please feel free to leave a comment below on bad habits you think artists have and I will of course see you soon. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed this video then don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so that you never miss an update from me. I upload art related videos three times a week and I have a list of all of the materials, products and equipment that I use in the description box down below. But anyway I look forward to seeing you all soon. Bye everyone!